Becky Fuquay, and I own Great Oak Pet Resort, and I opened Great Oak Pet Resort on May 28th of 2016, and we were doing quite well. We were a new business. A lot of people thought this business would not survive in Mariana. We had no idea that Hurricane Michael would hit Mexico Beach in Panama City and come 70 miles in and still be a Cat 5. There were a lot of local businesses that were totally destroyed. The Florida uh, Small Business Disaster Loan helped me tremendously in that there was so much damage everywhere. And, and of course, I had filed for insurance, but uh, we, we were just had a deluge of dogs and cats too because so many in the county, their homes were ruined, uh, demolished almost, and where they had had fenced backyards for their dogs, they no longer had that. When uh, the money was awarded, I was able to build a, another building and take on dogs and cats that um, had nowhere to go. It was a great thing to know that I had that money uh, the 50000 to use for one year interest-free. I mean, it was a godsend. I didn't have to worry about payroll because of that loan. And, and I knew what everybody was going through. And um, everybody was just so stressed. And with, uh, I think at that time, I probably had 12 or 13 employees. I now have 15. Everybody had a problem. All the employees had a problem. Their houses, their families, their uncles, their aunts, their grandpas, everybody had a, a storm story and had a storm problem. Everybody was turning to me, Miss Vicki, what this and what that. And so it gave me peace of mind that I could guarantee my people that they were gonna get paid, stick with me and we'll get through this. I could use that money and not worry and it helped me create more business, which, you know, without the 50,000, I, I could not even encourage more business because I couldn't have been able to handle it. I would definitely recommend it to other businesses if, if they qualify and if they have a need, I think it was one of the greatest things that was offered. To begin with, the process to get the money was fairly easily easy. Um, you know, they told you what they needed, and that's what you did. You have a checklist. You're told what they need, and you just and if for some reason you can't get this item that's on the list, you go and you say, "Here's the reason I can't get this, but here, what if I give you this instead?" They were very, very easy to work with. Very easy to work. If it hadn't been for the bridge loan, for me, I don't know how I would have been able to, to reopen and really go forward. When I pull in, sometimes I just stop and look at the building and know that I've built 16 yards and that townspeople, community, either from Bainbridge or Port St. Joe or Donaldsonville, that people love coming here. They are happy because their dogs and cats are happy.